Hello. Yo, what's up, man? What is going on, Matt? Great to talk to you. Great to find the game with you, man. Absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute something real quick. Okay, cool. You I, don't I, mind that I you don't mind that I've got your voice in here too in my chat, just so you know. A absolutely. I I may or may not have just been cranking some some uh, trivia before you got here anyway. What's going on, man? Good to finally uh meet you. Eat, yeah, eat you, again, you too, man. Terribly. You too. I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. Um, I hope I don't look too terrible. I hope I don't. I mean, it's been a little while. Like MK1 and MK2 and MK3 were my game, so it's been it's been a bit since Ooh. I've even used uh, controller. I, I tested it out a little bit, so I didn't look absolutely terrible. But luckily, I'm a good learner, but I'm a slow learner. So we'll see how this goes. That's what that's what I'm here for. And like I was telling you earlier, you you picked. The character with the least amount of special moves and Yay. probably the probably the easiest game plan. So it's, it, 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 it shouldn't take too long. You know, it's a very simple game plan, but very effective. And uh, we're just gonna have some fun today. And I was telling them uh, that you are also a really really big streamer here on Twitch and uh, play Overwatch. So if you ever want to get revenge for what I'm about to do to you in this game, oh, uh, let's do let's do this Overwatch. today. <laughs> let's let's do that right when we're done with this. Let's do that. We do one v ones. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it downloaded, but I will have to get it uh, for for a potential next time because I would love to get. You asking? We made the same characters though. Back when I played, I, I was a May and Roadhog main, and when I tuned into your stream, those were the two I saw you rocking. Yeah, um, it's Pharaoh was my main main. I've switched since gone to Ooh. May, and then Junkrat's been one. But uh, I've been playing Valorant a bit, so I've been trying to play McCree more. But if your internet's Ooh. super rocking, man, I would say just download it right now in the background and let's 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 go after this. <laughs> You're gonna be wiping the I'm floor already... with me on this game, man. Wiping the floor. <laughs> I'm already peeking a little bit on the PC usage. I don't wanna I don't wanna tempt it too much. Uh, no worries. But absolutely. So oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna put us into just a a, a a practice room where we just get to have a lot of fun and, and Sounds good, man. Where do I add you in this game, or is it through Steam that we already right. did it? You should receive an invite right now through Steam. Also, let's just let's just get this out of the way. I'm gonna speak on behalf of all of the metalheads in the Mortal Kombat community when I say thank you for what you do. Oh, all dude, right, thank, thank you, thank, man. Thank, thank you. you. It has it has had a massive effect on a lot of our lives and really? keep fucking Shit. kicking ass. Thank you so much, and, man. I really appreciate that, man. And and thank you. With thank that you. being said, I'm going to rip your throat up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, can, <laughs> you, can you try to invite me again? It only did a, sh a shift tab thing to see it, but I, I didn't. it didn't like bring me into a, a thing. I'm also kind of rough with technology. Like I've only been PC gaming for like two years. Also, congratulations on the uh, I logged on to Streamlabs and I was like, who is this beautiful bastard on the front page? Dude, it's crazy, man. I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I've I've been I know there've been streamers who've been streaming much longer than me and who put put in more hours than me, but like with this, I've just tried to put everything that I am, just like I do with the band. As of two and a half years ago, seven days a week on tour, five days a week off tour. So it's like there were times I was just wondering when it's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, is this the right thing? Am I am I in your game? Not yet. Hmm. Right, benchmark has been canceled. What the hell? Ooh, yeah, you gotta do the. Uh, um, so, so when you go into the game, go to online, and then it'll probably have you run something. Okay. Um, if you just back out and go to the main menu, then go to online, it'll probably say run the benchmark, and then I would do that first. I don't know. This is actually my first time playing with the PC version of this game as well, so we're gonna learn together a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the chat won't. My I might know where I'm finding this. Hey, let me go to your stream as well. Let me pull that up. Also, also hello to everyone in Matt's chat. My name is hey, Mr. Aquaman. I am a hey, professional player, commentator, and tournament organizer for competitive Mortal Kombat. I do it awesome. all. I'm a, I'm a, awesome. I'm a jack of all trades. It's, it's, it's something you know. Something, something you said really resonated uh, with me, which was it, it, it got to a point that I've been in such a lucky position to do something like this. Uh, full time, and it's something that 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 I decided to give 100% to at, at a certain point. And I'm also in disbelief of everything that is going on right now, including what is happening right now. I'm on a call with you. What the fuck is going on? You know? Dude, that's so awesome, man. I really appreciate that, man. I mean, it's always, it's always still crazy for us, like even that. You know that. I, I know this sounds crazy, but it's always nuts to me when I, we find out people like like our band. Like I think that's yeah. always nuts. 
Okay, so it's doing this thing. It's 30 percent, whatever this thing is. This thing. I'm going through it, uh, a, a Sonic out. I gotta start my mouth. Okay, that, <laughs> Dude, the fatalities and, and in this game are so brutal. Oh, and and gorgeous. Uh, yes. I've I, I've been streaming for about an hour, just kind of playing with settings. I have this on low graphics. And it's already 10 times more beautiful than the console version. So I'm looking at, a, a, like, a new game here. By the way, there's a sub train uh, that was going on in Matt's chat. And uh, Matt's also streaming this. If you guys want to check out his stream, he's streaming. How, how many times do you stream a week, would you say? Right now, uh, I know we're in quarantine. I'm five days a week, two times a day. 10 a.m. and, th or sorry, 9.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. Um, without fail, twice a day, five days a week. And then on tour, like I said, it's seven days a week, one to three streams a day. And I'm going to give you guys, in my chat, I'm going to give you guys his link. Uh, if you guys want to check him Thank you so out, much. Yeah, if we're going to get a shout out in here too. Everybody shout out Mr. Aquaman, please. Um, I think I'm in. I haven't seen this stuff. It looks like I'm online somewhere. Yep. Okay. So <clears throat> what, yeah, I'm not going to have you invite me. If you go to, um, if you go to private, uh, which, which is the third one, and then go over to practice. So uh, up and then over, over to practice. Yep. And then you're going to want to go down to confirm settings. And then it, oh, there you go. Play game. And then oh, I we're going to read alerts. Here. I'll read alerts. Gonna gonna this, this we're in. This is it. Well, mine's still showing stuff loading, waiting for opponent practice yep. match. I'm just. I'm just joining, and then it should pop up here. See, Bone, thank you for the gift subs. Alorian, thanks for the bit. See, Alana, thank you. Houts, thank you. Sasha, thank you. Classic of, Steve, thank you. Anybody, Topher, thank you. Alorian, thank you. Welcome to my community to reach out, saying how excited they were to, to, to see this, because this is, you know, it was exactly what you brought up when, when, when you know, Sub seeing zero. seeing your music and your band in in the Spawn trailer, stuff you grew up on, and I got to add on to that, that, you know, I've grown up since Ascendancy on Trivium, and it was so cool to That's see nuts, so many man. things from my childhood. Sub in, zero. In, in one thing and it's it's it was overwhelming you know mortal That's combat so spawn awesome, i just posted and, a picture of me in nine at nine years old dressed as sub-zero by the way yeah awesome <laughs> so this is this is your guy a, a little bit updated from the from the just the blue and the black cloth he, he's got a, <laughs> a little bit of a of a makeover i, I should say it's over. Right, 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 right. Sub Zero. This is the first character that caught my eye in Mortal Kombat ever, as well. You know, I was. <laughs> my name is Aquaman. I love all things like water and aquatic. Uh, so like I saw Ice and I'm like, yes, that's my guy. <laughs> and then that evolved into Rain, and that's gonna segue into Rain being what. Oh, we, we got a, a decent. Uh oh. So try again. That that does tend to happen. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Oh, uh, uh I, I'll try and make it this time uh, as well, and see if you can accept the invite. But Rain is my favorite Mortal, uh, or really tied with my favorite Mortal Kombat character of all time. He's a purple ninja with water uh, abilities, and uh, happens to be one of your songs off of Ascendancy. Oh, and yes. So that 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 song, not only is it a fucking phenomenal song, thanks, uh, man. but it's always had kind of two meanings for me. It's like, hmm, that's a win-win right there. We gotta get Rodner to get you the stream of the record before it comes out. Rodner's in my chat and your chat too. Uh, Fred, let's do it. Let's get get him the stream, the protected stream. Come on, Fred. Sub Zero. Oh, by the way, I'll also be giving Sub away Zero. some uh, some trivia merch now that I think Ooh. about it during the stream. Hold Sub up. Sub Zero. Well, I'm, on, I'm on reverse side screen. I'm not used to that. I'm on the right side. <laughs> you are you are on the play two side. Hopefully, it doesn't desync. Let's let's cross our fingers. I don't know what that means. Classic Steve, thank you. Yeah, I'm missing alerts. So Please let me this know. This character See is. Love. Is very offensive based, so I, I hope you like just destroying people. <laughs> I'm better at things I could be more offensive with and die as many times as possible. That's why I'm I'm not good at games that punish you if you're not patient. Oh, red! The, the right. thing that I have a hard time with is the combos, like memorizing yeah. combos. I, I'm, a, I'm gonna tell you because I thought about this before we streamed. I thought about how I would explain this to you, and I shit you not, it was almost a decade ago when I first got into into fighting games and competing. Um, it was around the same time where my dad uh, plays bass for a local band, uh, and uh, please feel free to go and pull, pull up your move set and look, look at all the buttons, and then I'll, I'll explain to you what they mean. Uh, and he was trying to teach me guitar at the time, and I, I 
he, I remember him trying to teach me one song. I don't even know it. Uh, Scarborough Fair by Queen's Right. Don't recall that one. That's a yeah. That's a that's a deep one right there. And I actually picked it up really quick on the main riff. He's like, he's like, how'd you pick it up so quick? And I was like, I thought of it like a combo in a fighting game, you know. And if if I were to tell you the notations of a of a combo, it would be you know, there's a kind of a similar way to learning a riff. Uh, in fighting games. I don't know if that makes complete sense or not. Uh, but definitely, definitely. Every every button on your controller. So, uh, do you have a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller? Uh, PlayStation controller. And do you use directional pad or do you use joysticks? Directional pad. Um, that's what um, this game's all about. Uh, quarter circle notions, which are just down back or down forward. You know, it, it, it creates a quarter of a circle in that motion. Down forward, down back. Um, Sub-Zero also has a couple of back forward uh, moves as well. But here... I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you the notations, which are gonna make combos easier. And it's gonna make learning a lot easier. So, cool. you see the square button on your pad? Yep. That's gonna be one. And then we're gonna go in a circle. So, square is one, triangle is two. Two, so one, two. And then circle is gonna be, or sorry, uh, X, we're gonna go to X. X is gonna be three. And then that's, circle's gonna be four. That's like severity of blows. Yeah, and so when I tell you all these notations as far as what your moves are and what your combos are, I'm going to refer to those notations of one, two, two, three, or four. Cool. You can think of it as a as a four button game. So these these are just your single hits, and then and then of course you have the the uh, multiple hitting ones, uh, which are called strings in the game. And I, I can go into more basics of fighting games. So we're, we're just here. To, I'm just going to teach you a little bit, and we're going to have some fun. Uh, so you have things like like one, two, you know. Oh, okay. Like, a, like like kickboxing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, one, two. Uh, you have, again, Sub-Zero's gameplay is all about offense. And it's all about uh, mix-ups. So blocking is going to be right trigger. And how how he opens up people and how he combos is really throwing in mix-ups. So, so you have a high guard and a low guard uh, by, by blocking and then holding down. It's low. And then just blocking is high. And Sub-Zero is one of the few characters and only characters in Mortal Kombat 11 that can throw mix-ups to open you up by blocking wrong. He has lows and overheads. So if you're if you're blocking low, an overhead's going to hit you. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. I'm going to throw a lot so of information he, at you. And so I not, man, not many guys can do that? Not many guys can attack overhead? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, and that's what makes this character so scary. Everyone hates fighting Sub-Zero, so you're, uh, you really did pick a good character. To, <laughs> now, why just... can you do stance flips? Why can I go north, uh, like, orthodox to southpaw? Uh, this is still... Every Mortal Kombat player still has no idea what this is for. Huh. Which is... I, I know how crazy that sounds, but I really have no idea. Like, this is... This is yeah, because cool. in real life, like, with striking, that, like... Because I did a little bit of kickboxing. I, I mainly do jujitsu, but I did a little bit of kickboxing. And I know, like, switching up stances will throw people off a lot, but it doesn't yeah. seem so like the moves that is, change. That, that is the one use that I can theorize is what it's for. Is So, like, we're out here uh, playing the game, and then I do this. And so any kind of movement, your opponent has the potential to react to it, right? And so that's that's what I, that's what I feel it, it's for. is almost similar in, in fighting where, you know, any kind Sorry. of movement is to try to bait out something out of your opponent. So I could do this, and if you swing, uh, I could potentially punish you for swinging in that in that situation. If your back is shown to me, do I hit your back at that point? Uh, no. It is... Everything, everything's universal as, as far as combos go. Huh. Um, but I'm going to teach you just basic offense of Sub-Zero, and I'll probably teach you combos afterwards. So, cool. again, Sub-Zero is very mix-up oriented, and 4-2 uh, is your overhead. And everyone's going to be afraid of that. So, so you're, you're going to press forward and two at the same time, which is trying to Yeah. And this is one of the scariest things in Mortal Kombat 11 right now. It's, believe it or not, it's just that normal. This is the scariest huh. thing uh, because he is really one of the only characters with a quick overhead. Uh, what we call it starter because you can combo off of it uh, with one of your uh, special moves, which is ice ball. And mm -hmm. we're gonna try to execute your first special move in this game. So try throwing an ice ball, which I'm gonna tell you the location of. Oh, you already know it! Look at that! Just just from like the old days. <laughs> yeah. That was that was godlike, by the way. That was that was so quick. And um this is more of a trickier thing, but you actually can't combo just that into it. If you were blocking, that actually wouldn't work. So you have to what we call amplify it, which is spend a bar of meter to make it faster. Uh so I want you to do an ice ball. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to press R1 in the middle of it. 
That's gonna be a little bit quicker. A little bit hmm. quicker. Which, which it's really cool here in training mode. I can actually see your input, so it, it'd be like that. Because you're pressing it as he's casting, or like immediately. Yeah, that, pretty much as he's casting, or you do it immediately. There you go. I see. Wow. There you go. And so that's that's how you combo off of that overhead. You come in, and, you, and then you go right right into the amplified version of it, and then you can so, some really cool looking combos like that, which which I'll which I'll teach you at the end of that too. Um, but Sub Zero, if, if it's knowing what can combo into the amplified version and the non-amplified version, because everything else really is going to just combo into the non-amplified version. It's just that overhead, uh, which is how they kind of balance this character. You know, having overhead starter really is scary in this game. Yeah. Uh, but you do have to come off of the resource in order to do so, and you're going to be unsafe if they block it. Uh, huh. You also have a low starter. Oh, sorry, if I'm going too fast. You know, no, no, no. No, this is perfect. Act he's actually learning really quick, guys. Slow I, I, hopefully, I man. I, I mean, so hopefully. I'm, I'm a... I can be a little rocky. A, I ask a lot of questions sometimes when I'm when I'm confused. So you'll you'll start getting it. I'm also a terrible teacher, so this is no. A you're not. Situation. No, no, not at all. Good, very good teacher. Uh, so you so you have your your overhead offensive option, and you have your low offensive option, which is back three. Um, and just just back three alone isn't too crazy. It it it, it uh it, it can combo into yeah that with that one. Uh, and, it, and it's cool that it comes up on the screen. It, it'll show you that it's a low. Uh, that can combo into nice ball. Uh, but it's all about back three one. Sorry, back three two. I'm, I'm actually getting the, the uh, strings of this. Back three two, and you can end with back three two one, which is safe on block and pressure. And a lot of what fighting games are is, you know, it's very quick reactions, just like any other game. You know, with with Overwatch, where they get the really quick reactions. And believe it or not, uh, professional players in this game can, can can walk up, and they can see as it happens, like just just this, just back one two on hit and, and and be able to get the ice ball or if they see that the opponent blocked not commit to ice ball and be unsafe right damn uh and that's that's, that's the that's one of the very high ends or high level stuff about fighting games is having really quick reactions to be able to see you know just 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 that hit and be able to confirm it to it uh more of a block not commit and be safe if that's that's a really high level uh thing because like, like like watch this i'm gonna i'm gonna purposely block and see if you can do that first try just back three sorry back three two ice ball and then get that down and then i'll move to step number two um, back to yeah that and, was right uh, that. my my cat just knocked out my audio so i'm not that's all good Hi, <laughs> <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> my cat just like came by and arcade with my my cord. All right, so you've got that down, and now I want you to try to I and and you also have this right. So I want you to try to open. I want you to try to open me up. Pretend that I'm an opponent, and you're, you're trying to open me up. Oh my God, you actually tried to open me up. So uh, go into the. Uh, if I ice ball after that, if you want to okay. do the combo for it. Oh, dang, I'm not ready for these Oh my goodness. Sorry, I sorry, sorry. Go low for once. <laughs> oh. oh my, that overhead is so hard to react to. You want so me to just, do the overhead so or the back three, too? I want you to mix me up. I want you to make me guess which okay. one you're going to do. Ooh, I'll take that one. Oh my goodness! And if you, if you, uh, I, mean, I want you to just uh, commit to death as well. Uh, Take like off the overhead or off the flow. So just like, like, go ahead and, and, and go ahead and go into the ice ball. If you believe, in, if you believe in this right here, if you think that it's gonna hit your opponent, yeah. go ahead and, 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 and throw that into my ice ball. Out. Okay. Ooh, that applies a little bit on you. Yep, and, and now it's the uh, yeah, it's the opposite of what you thought, which is which is now going to be back or left left ice ball or sorry left two. That doesn't make sense. I was, I was trying to... Ooh, I'm ready for that one. I'm ready for it. And so this is this is what pressure looks like in Mortal Kombat. It's hmm. it's 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 if you were trying to block, uh, like try to block me right now. Yep. 
I can I, I can see your high blocking, and then yeah, it's like it's like what am I gonna do here? Low or an overhead? You just block both. What the hell? I didn't even do that. I mean, it's. I mean, it's actually kind of godlike out here. Hold on, man. It's uh, it's just Overwatch jumping, man. <laughs> What you're doing is actually technically. Oh, hello. oh I, didn't, I didn't know what just happened. Right, what, did right. hey, 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 we're gonna watch what did I do? What did I do? Alright, so. You're doing something that is so high level. How are you alive? I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude, everything that happens in Mortal Kombat, I'm like, they're dead. They're actually dead right now. Yes, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, Alright, so what did it, what just happened there? Why did that happen? That was that was fatal blow. If you're under 30% health, here, uh, if you hit your middle. PlayStation button, the, 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 the giant square, it'll reset everything. Okay. The the touchpad. You, you, I'm you hitting just, and nothing's you, happening. Crap. Is that what it is, chat? I forgot what it was. Mm. Or no, I'm in charge. Oh, never mind, I'm in charge. I thought, I thought this was your room. Uh, so if I get you below 30%, which is uh, on your health bar, where that little spike is uh, sticking out directly above my head right here, on your health yep. bar. Yep. Uh, if you're below that, you'll see the word fatal blow pop up, and that's mm -hmm. that's kind of like a super. Okay. Which is what you just did, and it's really effing good. Uh, but but I, I won't get that far just yet. Okay. Um, but what you were doing was actually something that pros are doing and can't huh. even... Oh, it, it's like button on PC. Thanks, Catch Um What you were doing was what we call fuzzy guarding, which is like doing really quick... A, a really quick low overhead block, which is like down up, down up, down up like mm -hmm. this. That's what you're doing, yeah. and it'll kind of cover multiple options. Uh, huh. As most people, as most people just try to like, see, see, you know, see that coming, or yeah. or or just already preemptively guess as to what they're gonna block. So you were doing some cool stuff just by doing that. You were kind of covering both options uh, really well. Oh, that one got you. Uh. And so this, that's what basic office looks like. Is that you, uh, there's also ways to like stagger so you think that one thing's coming out. And if I were to do that and you were to block it right, you could punish me. What a natural uh, my chat's saying about you right now, by the way. Ooh. Oh, not anymore. And so you can try to c cover as many options as you can with, you know, which one it comes first, so the low is quicker, uh, then scan the overhead. So if, you, if you're in a situation where you think that you have to guess, so right here, I can do this and then make you guess literally overhead or low off of, off of that on hit. Uh, which I'm doing right now. So tr I'm gonna do this and then try to block right, okay? I'm gonna do this. And it's coming in. And that's a really good block, but you can preemptively think that the overhead is gonna come. Oh, you didn't do it again? Here we go. This oh, it's only good. when I'm low that, that I can yep. do that. Yeah, that's your like big comeback factor. Okay. That's, 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 that is your reward for getting your ass kicked, essentially. <laughs> I wish that happened in real life. <laughs> And if ever seen like I'm yeah, quiet, um, I've got my push to talk on my keyboard, so I'm like having to jump over off, off the controller, just so you know. I am throwing a lot of advanced stuff at you, uh, but again, I'm just gonna try to throw as much knowledge as I can at you. Uh, but let's get back back to the basics of, of what to do when this works, and, and you do hit someone. You know, wh what are you gonna do in this situation? Uh, what is your combo? And I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you a combo, um, and and see if you can do it. Uh, so after after anything into the ice ball. This. Oh, ooh, ooh. I, didn't get that I want you to jump and kick, and as, as you can see, it, 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 it knocks you back a little. Jump and kick, and this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, you're going to. Uh, there are dashes in this game. If you do forward, forward, you dash, right? And back dash. Um, you can actually cancel a dash with a button. So you can do like a dash dash button, right? Or dash damn one, dash that two. You can cancel it. At anywhere, at any point in the dash animation, and that is that is how a lot of combos happen. is It's a little, little tricky, like like dash cancels into into buttons, um, and one of his strings is going to be back one four three, and so do back one four three. You're a really quick learner because it actually does take a lot of time to, uh, to pick it up. Um, so after after a freeze. So that's it right there. You got it. But, but I'm, I'm going to add a couple of steps in there. So after freeze, you need to do a jump kick, which you can do jump three. And then you're going to, if you saw me there, after the jump kick, I do a forward dash. 
Four dash into the back one, but it's really quick, like that. Jump kick, and then four dash, cancel into the back one. Uh, I think back one made it work out, What right? button are you using after your dash? After the dash, it's gonna be back left. Jump kick. Oh, that's gonna happen right there. Let's, let's, let's move you forward a little bit. Uh, just dash kick. Woo! Woo! Into, into the back one. Uh, so it's gonna be jump kick into that string I told you about. And go, go ahead and practice that real quick. Uh, which which jump kick? Uh, three uh, or four? They're the same. Okay. And you're gonna do the jump kick fairly late uh, to the ground. Okay. Oh, sorry. And so so you'll kind of jump see kick, the, uh, dash, back one, four, three. Yep, but it's gonna be a. You're gonna input the dash and then do the back one pretty quick because you're gonna cancel that dash into the back one like you just saw there because the full dash goes really fast. It's actually good to, just to practice on the ground if you want. Like, but practice dash dash canceling the back one. And you can tell because you only move a little bit. This is some tricky stuff right here. It, it, it's a lot quicker than people realize with some of these little inputs. So think of it as forward, forward, back one. Forward, forward, back one. Forward, forward, back one. Oh, that, that was that was right there. Perfect. You pretty much got it down the moment that I told you how quick the inputs were. And so that's what you're gonna do off of off of that that jump that, that, that jump kick right there. Uh, you're gonna okay, okay, sorry. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna reset this in the middle. Yeah, there we go. And so off of that jump kick, you can see me just dashing just a little bit, and then back one. Back, uh, forward, forward, back one, four, three. Yep, back one, four, three. Off of that, off of that jump kick. Uh, you practice just this that. first part. Yep. So forward, forward, back one, four, three. Yeah. You were, you were trying to do that jump kick as late as possible, which is what you want to do. And, you, and you'll get the timing down. Um, that was perfect. A little bit earlier than that. A little bit earlier. Nice. That was it. Ah. Perfect. Damn it. I'm trying to, I keep forgetting the second part. Yep. That's it. That's fine. Wait, wait. This is, this is what combos are, you know, I, again. How I, how I told my dad I thought about learning a whip was just piecing it together with, with the notations that you're given. I'm going to push back to the, back to the little screen. Sorry, sorry. If that, I know it's going to catch up right every time. Let's see. Okay. Um, back, back, forward, one, four, three. Or sorry, forward, forward, back, one, four, three. Back, one, four, three. Yep. Almost right there. Ooh, almost, almost. It, 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 it's, it's really quick on that forward, forward, back one. Here, I'll put us, I'll put us, yeah, this, this way over. Oh, it, it, it's quite a mess with you if I keep side switching, so I'm gonna go on this side of you again. <laughs> And at worst, I'll leave I'll leave the the juggle combos out of this, and I'll I'll, I'll switch to the ground one. Mm. I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh... If you want, if you want. Yeah, I I, I want to get it. I'll get it. So okay, okay. Jump okay. kick back. I, I know. I, forward, I know forward, you're a gamer. Back. Yep. Let me let me really master this second part first. Four, four, back. And if you if, if you want, what's really good to see the timing is that you can see the, on the left side of the screen my inputs on, on the on the controller, and so you can actually see how fast I do. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, oh yeah, that's it right there. Yeah. And then all you have to do is that after the jump kick. Ah, I had the first two. 
Yep. Yep. In the corner, you actually don't have to dash cancel it. Uh, in the corner, you, you just do back one, four, three, but it's good that you dash cancel because there's, there's a lot of situational things like that. I'll, I'll, I'll put us back there in the screen. Where's the button? There. Oh. There we go. A little early on that jump kick. Almost. It's, isn't it so much quicker than you, than you think or realize? Yeah, it's like all in one. Because I'm like kind of timing it while he's moving, but you got to do the opposite. It's like do it before the movements. Yeah. You think that, that was really close right there. That was really close. I'm Sorry, I actually do that. Mm. Woo, close. I'll do, I'll do some less, less crazier. Uh, stuff after so this is this is one of you know of just wanting to do as much damage as possible. Yeah, it, it, it looks like you're just doing a, just a little a little bit too slow on it because you're still okay. getting almost a full dash before. You oh, okay, okay. Out. Uh, it's that it's that really quick, and you you recover like. It looks like you're waiting until you like fully land, but it's a lot quicker than you realize. Like after this kick, I'm actually already. Moving it's like it's like, like all in one. Four four, yeah. And then going in the back, but they they just give you space there. Huh? I think I could always put you on the left. And I think that Close. You also may want to try doing the jump kick a little bit later. Oh, that was a perfect jump kick right there. And, and, in, and in the corner, so let's go and take out the dash uh, out of that equation right here. So here in the corner, just do a jump kick and then put in, yeah, just, just put that hey. in. All right, let's, uh, let's get that down and then I'll tell you how to end it. Hey, hey, hey. okay, after, I'm, I'm going to add a, a, a layer for you. After the back one four, uh, you, you want to do back forward three and go we'll do back forward three right now. I just slide, just like just like back in the day. And so you're gonna do jump kick, back one four three, slide. Um. Ah. The more I add, the, I, I know the more his brain's going. Fuck! <laughs> and if, if you want just on the ground, try the try the back back one four three slide like like right here on the ground. Oh, that was it right there. Uh, the, the slide's looking looking uh. Darn it! My brain glitched. A little, bit, a little bit tricky for you. Oh, Wrong move. That's ice ball. He's got ice ball down, Chad. He's definitely got ice ball. That down. is in my blood. <laughs> he's been he's been freezing people since the night. Uh, do that jump kick a little bit later. Yeah, that's like like a little bit deeper. If you, if you do it too early, it actually changes up a little bit of time. A little bit earlier. There's a there's a sweet spot, and that's what makes fighting games so tricky. That there there are a lot of sweet spots that that can that can make or break you in any moment. So just try that in the slide, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna get it now. Oh, that was that was forward back. Yeah, back forward. There you go. Nice. Jump kick and then just do what, do what you've been doing. Mm. Ooh. Um. Piece it together. That works. <laughs> Jump kick. Ah. 
what you're what you're dealing with right now is it's 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 what's called the, the juggle system of the stage. Which is someone's in the air, but only for a certain amount. And it can be tricky. There you go. Hey. Hey. Oh, that was a combo. Yeah. So once you once you've done this and once you've done this a billion times, that's when it starts to become easy, and you kind of do it on command. Uh, but this is hey, this is his first fighting game ever. Well, you know. On PC, um, yeah. First yeah, first time I'm, since playing like SNES. Heck yeah. So hey, pick it up pretty quick. And if you want, uh, we can make it a little bit easier. Do a jump in one instead. Into the same thing. One. Rather than jump kick, do a do a jump one instead, which is gonna which, which, which look like this. Because a jump kick puts you in the air, whereas a jump one and a jump two don't. And the timings are different, actually. So the jump one, you can do it a little bit earlier than you uh, realize. Yeah. And then, and, and then you're going to dial in exactly that. And, you know, for, for, for most people when they're this early on, you know, it, it isn't really about the controls all flashy stuff. It's just it's just basics of, of getting hit and, and and hitting your opponent. So you know a lot of a lot of old school MK guys will, will, will come and they'll get a hit with like a jump kick and just immediately do uppercut. You know, uppercut has been universal since Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, which is down in two. Uh, which is a lot of damage. Uh, but right now you're actually in the middle of winning some combos, so I'll just let you, let you do your thing here. And... Well, that was it! Right to the slide. I just missed the slide. Yep, you just missed the slide, and, and that was a... That was... That was optimal Sub-Zero player right there, chat. Jump punch. Hey! That was it! Perfect. Hey! Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that until it's until it's comfortable. Perfect. Ooh, uh. that, that would have messed even us up, Matt. Just just so you know, we actually go behind him. And so I wanted to add something about that. So exactly what you did, you know, you're starting off with the ice ball, but I want you to mm -hmm. combo into the ice ball and then do that. So do like do like back three two right like a uh, uh, back, 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 back three two ice ball and they're coming to do exactly what you what you're doing right there back, back three two and then and then go into the ice ball and then so you're gonna do a, a full combo here okay back three two back three two yep back three two ice ball. There you go, and then you want to back up, and then do exactly that. And you get a back uh, up. Ah, the side flip, flip, damn. Yep. Not ambidextrous. Up. Yeah, you got to back up a little, little bit farther after the ice ball to, to get that nice jump in this. Uh, and to, to make it quicker, uh, I probably should have told you. So after the ice ball, just mm -hmm. back dash, and then jump. Uh, back to two. Oh. Back dash there, it's fine. Oh, that works too. Now, that thing ah. all the way. Uh, so after after ice ball, just just hit back back. Really quick. Back dash, and then, and then come in like that. Oh. Um, back to two. Oh, oh, that worked too. Oh, that thing oh, combo full. Brain like, glitched. Almost. almost. Back to here we go. Oh, that works as well, I think. I think jump back, jump forward. This is, this is next level stats. Oh. oh, something else. <laughs> it's so close. Uh, back to two. I don't know what that was, damn it. This is, <laughs> this is fine. Oh, no. 
Yeah, believe it or not, it looks better than the first time I ever tried to play this. So this is so crazy. Like I could see how it's like it's all muscle memory. So you have to do yeah, these combos it, it all really time. Is, Are really there many people that have like and, multiple mains, or is it like you kind of stick with one or yes. two people? Yes, and like, like there are pros that know every single character in the game, know every every what? little combo, every little instant. What? And and I, I don't want to hurt your brain, but I feel like I have to just because you brought it up. So every little thing that you do has about six numbers and two different shapes behind it that, that, that you have to learn as well. But I don't want to hurt your brain too much. So so for instance, if I were to sit here and do this button right here, right? Just this button, mm -hmm. there are six numbers behind it. Uh, there's a certain number uh, behind it if it hits, if it's blocked, if it whiffs, how long it takes to recover. Uh, hmm. And then there's there's how big it is on, on, on the screen. Uh, and then there's uh, ha how big it is that it can be hit. So if I were to do this button and you were to do a button and hit me out of it, that's a certain interaction of shapes. Uh, and don't, I don't want you to learn what I just talked about, but I just want you to know that it's it's that it's that in depth. That that broke my brain a little bit. Yeah, that I I'm sorry. <laughs> Chat, I had to do it to him. I'm so sorry. Right now, we're just gonna beat the crap out of each other. And then just imagine that for the entire cast. And, uh, yeah, these kids, these kids got got some major talent and. And, and brain power to to do this stuff. That's good. But let's get back to the combo. You know, freeze me. Come in. Oh, you're, you're a little slow on that back one after the jumping. Mm. That was so close. That was so close to comboing. Again, and just a little slow on the on the back one of those jump. It's it's the stepping away that I'm having a hard time with. Yeah. Um. Maybe you just practice that. So so get a freeze, and then I want you to instead of like walking back, just 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 work on back dashing right now. So just just do back back and swing again. And so you just gonna do back back and then jump in. And it's just that, it's just that simple. Back back and then jump in. Back back and jump in. And that's that's what it's gonna look like after the ice ball. Just back back and then jump in. Back back. Whoop! Ah. His brain melted. Back, back, jump it. Oh! You don't even gotta move afterwards. Just back, back, and then let it rip. A little slow, but that got it! And, and then you're gonna do a little slow on the back one, but you're just gonna get it. It's weird, like, I have such a hard time doing that diagonal jump forward. I shouldn't, but I do. Ooh. And it's all intricate timing, so there is nothing wrong with, with that drop. You're right, he can do a neutral jump. But I've already got him on this ramp, so let's not. Looks like a too great. Darn it, I'll, I'll get it. So try. I think it's tricky time for me right there. Oh, so close! Maybe try it with the uh, jump kick instead there. So you don't have to worry about. It. Yeah, like just like that. So you have to worry about being so fast. And, and, and then just finished it up. Oh man, he's about to about rock somebody in the corner. Darn it! So close! I can see you. That jump kick was a little early. Um, back to. Hey! Hey! Everybody, everybody, <laughs> round of applause. That was a full combo. I that, couldn't do it again now. <laughs> <laughs> And so, if, if you were to do someone, or if you were to do that to someone, like, hmm, now we're talking. And then it's doing it 50 billion times, so you never drop it. And, th and it is all muscle memory at that point. Hey, that's so slide, close. But that's a, that's a, that's a, and then. 
you it's, know, a, it's like I've lost the timing of the kick into the first move. When you're in a match too, you know, it's it's, it's, it's looking out for, for, for these into it. And then also, don't forget that at any point, you can do the same exact thing off of that bad boy. And they come in and do the same, and, ooh, maybe I got the same exact thing. Uh, off of off of both options, right? As long as you have a freeze, you know exactly what to do. But just remember that you have to amplify the ball if you do the overhead. I, another thing that's going to be on the back of your mind while you're playing is that you know you have, you have two different options depending on how you think your opponent's going to block. If you think they're going to block low, you don't, you don't have to come off the meter here. But if you, if you think that they're going to block low, you have to come off. You have to come off the ball. It's but, crazy. I never realized how much timing there is involved in this game. Like, you know, like one and two, yeah. I, I, it wasn't really combo based, right? It was more like button mashing, but this is like scientific, like timings. Of, yeah. I, I actually hate that I got involved in fighting games because it's more <laughs> math than I ever wanted to deal with in my life. I'm yeah, gonna be this, completely honest with you. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Like, I feel like real striking fighting is easier than this. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think 100%, it, it's, 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 it's a lot more brain than, that people realize, and it's 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 math and geometry. It's fight, fighting games are math and geometry. Uh, because everything that you do has a shape behind it and a number behind it. You know, it isn't it isn't a punch or a kick. It's, it's, it's a number a shape. But again, I, I don't want to I don't want to hurt your brain too much on that on that aspect of it. And I, I think everyone in chat is just saying it's, it's facts. It's, it's, it's not what people realize when they first look at it, because people can watch Mortal Kombat for the first time and think, oh, they're just beating the shit out of each other. When when the players are, are, are doing math equations on the fly in milliseconds. And stuff happens a lot quicker than people realize, you know, reaction-wise. Uh, stuff's happening in upwards of people trying to react to something that is, you know, 17... 60ths of a second. Mm. And it's so hard for people to realize. But I also respect, you know, every other video game as well, and just how how quick those reactions have to be and, and how much knowledge goes into them. Because, you know, shooters are the same way. People have reactions in shooters that I can't comprehend. I see them do little, like, uh, shooting tests and... Oh. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I can get like the first, if this is in thirds, I'll get like the first and third or the second and third or, but I, it's, it's nuts, nuts. I, yeah, it's the kind of yeah. things like this where, I, where, like I get it at first, then I get that brain dump where the information gets scattered. So I have to do this like in drills. Like that's why I practice yep. so much guitar. That's why I do my streams basically, like to keep yes. that trivium stuff perfectly in check in my brain. It's, that, that's why I brought up that analogy earlier. It's, it's the same way where you just, you just have it in, you know, you have to take it in in pieces and then piece the entire thing together. And guys, I know it's a lot of repetition to watch, but this is this is what you know that entry level stuff is. It's just learning, learning the basics and le learning what your buttons do and, and how to piece them together. And if, if you want, I can uh, show you a. A, a couple of other really cool buttons that, that he has. Yeah, please do, when please do. Uh, when we're actually playing, uh, another really good tool that he has sorry, is sorry. he has a really good gap closer. So if, if we're out here, there's a lot of space between us, and you, you want to close the gap, and you want to be what, what we call plus, which is you're going to have another turn afterwards. Again, I don't want to teach you too much frame data today because that's just, even I hate that shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but, but block for me. Whoa. I don't like, know what I just did. I don't. Let's not get that far. That was an interactable, and that's something else. But uh, he has a move which is forward four, where he runs at you with a massive kick. And it's actually what we the call teep. plus on block. So it's actually still his turn. Technically, when, when you block this. So if you block this, and you try to press a button, and I try to press a button, nine times out of ten, I'm going to beat you. Oh, yeah, I Ooh, saw that. I was, I was slow. I was yep. slow. Uh, block that. Yeah, and that's what that that that's what all the numbers mean, is that this is a this is a certain number on block, and it's it's plus on block, which means that the button that I press is gonna come out that number quicker than yours. Hmm. I know that makes 
almost no sense. Uh, but that's how that's how turn taking works in fighting games. Is that this is something on block, um, mm -hmm. and if it's minus, uh, let me do something minus here. Like if I do if uh, block low, if I do that, it's minus a couple on block. So if I were to do this, and then, and then we both press the same button, like uh, uh, do do that one again outdoors, you win because I'm minus. Hmm. Okay. But if I'm and standing, I have more of a minus because the momentum of his body's going back anyway. It's it, it all depends on it. Actually, doesn't depend on what the character itself is doing. It depends on those numbers. Yeah. That, that oh wait. So about. is those numbers? Is is it those numbers I'm seeing right there? It uh that's that's the damage you see. If you want to see those numbers, uh you can see this when I when I pull it up, right? Yeah. The uh, menu. Yep. If you go to your menu and, and you oh, go to your buttons, okay. all of the numbers are actually, the, you know, those, the, those those five to six numbers I told you about are right there under frame data. Holy hell. <laughs> and and so this is what I'm talking about. Just one character not only has all of the... Look at all of these different numbers just on your single button. Do you, do you memorize so this stuff? Yes. So there's, there's all of those. Oh there's a whole second page here. And then you have all of your special moves, which have all those numbers. And so it's about. Let me do some quick math real quick. Right. We'll just, we'll just I'm say so about, bad at math, too. About 50 times 5. So you're looking at about 250 to 270 numbers per character. And even I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about that at all. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> My my brain is hurting. I can't even imagine yours. Man, it's it's nuts. But that that push kick makes sense because in kickboxing it's called a teep. It it is a push kick. It's not like a strike. It's more to push them off balance. So it makes sense that my character is slower on the recovery anyway because the momentum of my body going backwards. Yeah, and 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 because you're almost rewarded for doing. You know, it's uh, think about like a like a haymaker. You know, something that's really slow. Uh, but because you were able to do something so slow, you were having to telegraph. Yeah. Rewarded for it. Yeah, you're, 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 you're actually rewarded for doing something that that's just so slow. Because because do it on me right now. Do, do four. Oh dang! I even know that. Do it now. I I can react and like ah, interrupt you for doing it. Yeah. Oh, I can do that one. Now for the numbers, if they're coming in heavy, you want to go. Wait, something yeah. just made a disconnect sound. Can everybody still hear me and see me? I can. Okay. I just heard a disconnect sound. I don't know what that was. And so, yeah, that's how, that's how a lot of moves work, is that it kind of does make sense. If you're doing something that's really slow, uh, chances are, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's really beneficial to get it out. But there's a lot of intricacies. Okay, my man is in a combo, like, on the fly, though. Whoa, hold up. You, you still had that in your muscle memory. There it is, really yeah. It's, I just have to repeat stuff a lot. Yep. All right, you want to kick my butt? Sure. <laughs> right. If you want, uh, we can just we just play around here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit offensive on you. Okay. And and uh, again, a, a blocking just right trigger, and then it's 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 gonna be kind of determining when it's your turn. It's gonna be a lot of quick reactions. Um, and I'm gonna throw a lot of mix-ups at you too. And uh, you can also pick up on what to do by what what, what I do, you know. And so let's let's just get crazy. Oh! Help! Uh, Help! I'm gonna go crazy in a second. Help! Help! Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, no! But I'm just yelling help, by the way. <laughs> That's fine. Because, because that was so slow. Help! Uh -oh. Help me! I'm gonna jump again. Oh, no! I got the bar! Oh! He actually tries that every time that he's got the middle. Ooh, that's good to be. Uh oh. Woo! You didn't believe! If, if you'd have believed off that overhead right there, it'd be able to find ball. Yeah, I got both of them. Hey, that's nothing! Oh, no, I get my. Oh, and that. Oh! That is a lot of so, I need an adult! It, because you whiffed it. Alright, now, now I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna say something pretty cool that, that all characters have, uh, which is what, what that. 
spineless. <laughs> Maybe I should teach you that too. Yeah, sure. So every character, on top of having that that universal uh, special that that you tried right there, uh, there's also hidden mechanics called crushing blows, and some of them some of them are universal, some of them are not universal. Uh, if I do a a high move, uh, which 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 the the gamma is a high, and you were to crouch it. And then do an uppercut. That triggers a universal crushing blow. Um, so, like, uh, do a stand one on me. Oh, yeah, do it again. I was also on that. Oh. Is that that is a universal crushing blow? And crushing blows are mechanics that that will do a couple of things. So some of them will launch. Some of them will launch you. Some of them will just do a crap ton of damage. Uh, some of them will lead to a bigger combo, some of them will do damage over time. Uh, and I, I, know, I know it's a lot to take in, but there are a lot of mechanics like that, and I'll actually kind of show you what I mean by that. Uh, try to do it again. Do it again. Here we go. It's, is it, and it's because I have momentum in my move that's up, so it's just, yeah, is that what it is? It's compounded? And, and, it, and I'm rewarded for making the decision to sit here and not block at all, and then... I see. I see. That, that makes sense. Oh man, I'm, I'm actually messing up the combo. Here. There we go. Um, it's it, it, it's it, it's it's just a reward for making a really good read. That you're gonna do a high, and I have to counter. But say, say I were to make that that same decision, and then you come and do that, I'm fucked. You just destroyed me. For, for trying to make that that big decision to do exactly that. And, and so there are no random combos, are there? Or is it like kind of, but everyone is like using these combos that they've learned the specifics of, correct? It's not like people just mashing Everyone's, stuff. Yeah, correct. Um, okay. Mashing just kind of looks looks like this. And, yeah. Because that's what I probably, that's what I am definitely yeah. going to look like right now. Because that's all I've got. Yeah. And, and, you, and you know what? That's probably fine. Uh, by the way, this is down four. A really good, just kind of like check. Uh, if you're if you're, if, you're, if you want to like keep your opponent out and like build the space, this is a really good button to just kind of keep them at bay by just punch, you know crushing and impressive buttons on you. Just like that, and then I, I can come up because this is really plus on hit, so advantageous. You're you're staggered when I do that, and I can kind of use that to my advantage. I'm throwing so much at you, Matt. I do apologize a lot. No, it's good. I I, I like. I like to get into things in a very extremely difficult way and then figure it out afterwards. <laughs> Someone should have warned you, and I probably should have been the one to do it, that it's a lot more than people realize in these fighting games. I, I dude, I, I had no yeah. idea. Like, I, I thought it yep. was... I don't know, I think Come most in, people think up, it's just, yeah, like smashing people, buttons, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just going, the combos yep. are kind of happening. I didn't realize that all the combos were specific moves. It's, uh, this is yeah, a lot more like jujitsu than, than I thought, in, in that, like, hey. all those moves that you think are just, like, people grabbing things, it's, like, there's a very specific sequence of moves to get there, and it's... Yes. And you have to learn that sequence or you're not going to get there. Exactly. And also, uh, you, you have a throw, which has been, you know, universal hey look at that! First try after doing a full monologue and Matt drops a full... <laughs> I'm going to talk for ten minutes and picked up like a thunder. Another one! How crazy is it? And I kind of do the same thing where, you know, the, the, the less you think about it, the more it, you're relying on the muscle memory. Absolutely. I mean, that's why, like, I practice so damn much. Like, a lot of band guys would think that this amount of practice is not fun. Yeah. But it makes it where I go on tour, I don't have to think about anything. I used to always be like, am I going to hit this note? Can I sing this tonight? Am I going to hit this solo? But if I do three to six hours a day, five days a week off tour all the time, no matter what, without fail, it becomes, like, imprinted into me. And that's... Same with jiu-jitsu, like I sucked and I got my ass kicked for about three to four years of starting, even going five to six days a week. But now like year six, year seven, now it's like all the muscle memories like kicked in. You just described how, how fighting game pros operate as well. That's, it's, that's it's the, the way you have to do it. Yeah, you have yep. to do it that way. All right, now Ch Chad is telling me to uh, teach you about that slide. Slide, you can also amplify. You know, all special moves, most special moves can be amplified. Yeah. Oh. And that's good. That's, uh, there are multiple things behind it. The amplify, as you can see, reverses position. So if, if, if you had your back to the wall and did it, I'm going to put you in the corner. Damn. 
Um, and if you do, if you do three of them, um, I need to get one more bar. Can you amplify ice ball into amplify uh, sweep or ice sweep? Uh, via slide. So yeah, I I think I have it loaded. I don't remember how much it does, but if I were to combo the ice ball, and I would do this. All right. So you just saw me combo in, in, into the ice ball, which the amplified ice ball is the same way, and then do the amplified slide. This slide amplify has one of those what I told you about the crushing blow on it, which triggers after you've uh, done it it, it. it it triggers on the third one. So throughout a match, like like round one could be over, round two could be over, and you and you've got two of them. You have that loaded, and that becomes so much scarier. It becomes a mental thing. So if you have this, this, this extra damage loaded that your opponent's gonna be frightened of, and then you're gonna use that to your advantage, and they're gonna be scared of that low, and then that really opens up other ways of protecting your opponent because of the. And you have to wait till you have your bar, hmm. and, and you just got an offensive bar meter. So go ahead, go ahead and hit five. Oh, where where is that Bam! meter that? Where is where okay. am I allowed to do that? Then? I have I have missed out on so much stuff, chat. Your meter is are the are the two bars on the bottom since you're on the right hand side, the oh, bottom right of, of your screen. The scared. bottom bar is your offensive meter, that's what the sword means next to it. And your the uh vertical bar is your defensive meter. Your defensive uh... meter is, is is gonna be used for certain things, and your offensive bar is gonna be used for certain things. Um the way the defensive bar, I don't wanna get too deep into uh because I think we should be all about offense today. <laughs> uh, and that offensive bar is how you're going to amplify it. As you can see, the meter comes back over time. So you just have to wait, and, and then bam, you have, you have a bar now. Perfect. So I have and, to have two to do two charged moves. Correct. And you'll be. And so right now, you realize that you have no bar, so that, that overhead into the ball, you know, that's not an option. And there's a lot of mind games like that too, where if I see that you have no bar, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna guess the lesser of the two evils and be blocking low against this particular character. I lost timing there. Ooh. Crazy, crazy, man! Like that, that is that that is blowing my mind because I've I've watched fighting games for a long time. And I did not. Really ever think that like everyone has memorized every single combo of everything, yep. but of course they have. Mm -hmm. It's 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 that you know outside looking in, you know for everyone it can be you know tr tr traditional sports as well or anything where it's it's so much harder than people realize with with everything and music included. You know people are like, oh he's just banging the drums. Hell no, it's not that simple. Yeah, <laughs> especially know? in our, our dude. Yeah, especially in Alex. Yeah, oh, man, that, that, that guy he, needs he to calm the fuck down, by the way. Yeah. To, oh, and he doesn't even doesn't even break out. a sweat. He doesn't even break a sweat. I, I just the two songs we've we've heard from that new album. He needs to calm the fuck down. He is going crazy. He doesn't even break a sweat. It's all economical. It's crazy. Mm. Um, but yeah, this this, it's it's less it's less like playing video games and it's more like playing guitar, singing, or doing jujitsu. Yeah. To get good to get to this professional level. To get to that level, now you yeah. can just have fun and beat exactly. the shit out of each other, which is yeah, but, which is you know how we all got in the first. Place. But but the fact that it's so complicated, you know, it's that nice mental challenge. It's so rewarding when you get to that level and, and you can do those things and you, you can just outplay and outsmart them, uh, with with all of these. Things. And if you want, we just uh. Keep pressing buttons, but I should probably tell you a couple more of your buttons. Yeah, uh, please. Before I uh, set you free. So you, you've you learned about this, you know, your your, your mix-ups, and then your kind of go-to uh, damage combos like that. Um, he's also got a couple of cool uh, little checks with, uh, you know, he's got, you know, just one, the, the one, two, and then he goes up with one, two, four. Which which hits him far really which hits him really far back. That also has a crushing blow on it. Uh, if the combo, this is gonna sound weird. If the combo is long enough, I think it's above seven seven hits. I'm gonna check that. And you can see if something has a crushing blow here in the the menu as well. But all of this my mind looks is blown, weird Chad. at is first. Mind but to someone like me who's been doing this for a long time, I can look at this and go, you know, you see 
And I'm sure every every viewer right now who's who's at a more casual level or seen this for the first time sees square, triangle, circle. I see one, two, four. Okay. And so I see one, two, four. I'm like, okay, this is one, two, four. And it says crushing blow triggers in a combo of eight or more. And so I'm gonna do a combo that is more than eight hits, and it's gonna trigger that crushing blow. Oh, I expressed that right there. This is gonna be a, a little different than what we've seen before. <laughs> and see, that does a lot of damage, and it, and and I met the requirement for that crushing blow. And yeah. if you if you want to know how to do that, you're gonna do the same thing that you've been doing. This is all the same stuff that, that you've been doing, right? That that you've been doing. And to get that to that number of hits, after this jump kick, and this is, I know this could be hard for you, Chris. To do the jump kick, two, 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 because they're gonna be kind of juggling in the air. That's gonna be so it's gonna be two, 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 and then one, two, four. Two, 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 and one, two, I'm, four. And then I'm just gonna sit back and watch you have fun with that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that was close, that was close. And this is all timing and muscle memory. There's, there's, no, there's nothing behind what, what you're doing right now besides timing. Ooh, you just did something else entirely. That, that's a really cool strike, by the way. It looks cool. Three, two, two. And How many twos gonna, in the middle? Three. And then it's going to be one, two, four. But if you want, uh, you can just do two of them and then do it. It's okay. So one, two. Okay. Two, two, and then one, two, four. It's, and it's but and two, it's so two, much quicker than you realize. One, two, four, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just going to do two of them for now. So jump kick, two, two, one, two, four. Ooh, sort of. almost, almost. But but you're trying to that that tempo. Two, two, two. I'm gonna try to say this to do it. Two, two, one, two, four. Two, two. Okay, hey, that's that's still that's still a combo. Two. This is this is this is teaching you just like different juggle timings and properties. Ooh, you got three of them in there. You're pro. Damn it! Damn the other thing didn't work. <laughs> Chat, you, you might be right. This was like okay. So that right there, I want you to do what you just did after the ice ball combo. And I, and I, I think that you're above eight hits anyway. So jump kick, one stand two, and then one two four. Oh, that will trigger. He's gotta do it a little bit later. Hey! hey. Oh my you gosh. just fucked somebody up. I don't know how I'm gonna ever remember that. <laughs> I just gonna, I, I do know how. I do know how. Do it again. Do it again. That's how you're gonna learn. You can do it again. Oh, I, I, I think I just put us in the corner. This is crazy. Uh, Amigo Copter, thank you, Monolith, thank you, Robert, thank you, Squilla, thank you, Blame Dexter, thank you, C. Bohan, thank you, Maligaz, thank you, Space Butter, thank you, Classic Steve Butter, thank you. Okay. Did I miss anybody I else? I'm going on the other side, my bad. Let me, let me put you on no the other side. Uh... Did I miss anybody else? That's like Steve Sashel, thank you, Houts, thank you. I think I got everybody. Oh, thank you. This is, this is nuts, question. man. This is nuts. Right? I, I This could be incorrect, but I think shooters may be a little bit easier. Like at the I, at the professional level, which I, I don't know if I'm offending professional shooters, but because there's, there's, okay, it's more like broad so, stroke concepts. Fortnite Pro, that's a whole different story. Yeah, because that's oh, yeah, muscle yeah, memory the, of the building. The uh, building of it is is absolutely yeah. I, I, Fortnite was my main game for a while, but I took time off of the the game, and it's just impossible to get back in. Yeah, and you know I I don't like to be someone to to, to say that as well, but I've ooh that was. That was, that was cool. Um, I also, having having played both, I I I've, I've actually run tournaments, commentated tournaments, and tried to play you know shooters as well. And, um, I I find fighting games to be so much more difficult than how much how much goes into it and how much knowledge goes into it. And you know just the knowledge of it is like taking a college course, and then there's the implementation of that knowledge and the execution and the reactions and 
have to deal with everyone else's bullshit uh, is, is it's a lot. It's, it's how I can put it. It's honestly is a lot. Hey -o. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, because I feel like there are general broad strokes of the concept of shooting crosshair placement, uh, you yeah. know, timing, watching movement and stuff. But this is like to memorize all these different combos is nuts. That, that's nuts. That's like that's memory. Yeah. That's my memorizing music, basically. And then also just if you think about it, if, if you're in the middle of a match, I come up and do this. Mm -hmm. Just this one button. I'm gonna press one on you. Yep. You have to know every single option you have after I do that, and I have to know every option I have to do after that. I have to do after that, and how many ways I can trick you into into losing in this situation here, and then you yeah, apply that to all. It's of chess. Other 50 it's buttons. it's it's jujitsu. Yeah. It's knowing. It is, yeah. It is exactly this is chess. this is more like jujitsu than anything that I can think of it's, right now. But but to get to the chess level, almost this is. I think this is going to be accurate. To get to that level, both of you have to be chess players, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, I'm, have fun in this I'm also having a drink and just having a good time watching. <laughs> <laughs> What you drinking? Hey, 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 hey. I'm drinking uh, my personal favorite, uh, Kraken and ginger ale. Ah, my my new quarantine drink has been gin, uh, either Lacroix or Waterloo, half a whole lime or a whole lime Saint Germain. That, that's been my drink. Yeah, yeah. I got fancy over here. Yep. But I'm for not... anyone who doesn't drink, then just do Lacroix or wa or the Waterloo stuff, lime and ice. And that's lime, the, that's, yeah. That is the non-drinker version. I've uh, kids version. I'm... I'm completely on theme here. My name is Aquaman. My whole team is this, and I drink crack. And it, it's just all on theme. Yeah, all no, that makes sense, man. I, I've always, you know what? That's why you've never seen our records be the themes of hot. I don't like desert ideas. That's everything's always like snow or ice oh, or water. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh man, the, yeah, always. Mean, look, at the, look, look at the crusade cover. But, by exactly. The way, I, that, exactly. When that album dropped, oh, I, I loved everything about the cover, everything about the album, and at the time. I'll never forget this. I shit you not, I binged the Crusade every day of my life while playing a game called Stronghold Crusader. Damn, I don't and know so, that. And so it was, it's, it, it, it's a, you know like Age of Empires and all those games? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like that, but themed in the Crusades. Um, and I was like, like what a time to be alive. And I, I can't believe someone in your chat just recognized that too. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> and I shit you not, I played, I, I, I listened to that album and played that game at the same time, and I'll never forget it. That's so awesome, man. I, I love pairing things like that, like having yeah. memories of things. It's more like, um, I would pair music with graphic novels. Like mm -hmm. uh, Depeche Mode's uh, Sounds of the Universe, I was reading V for Vendetta, and those two things go so well together. Um, what else? Yeah, those, those specific ones. But I'm, I'm so stoked you did that record, man. Yeah, I love that record, too. It's like that one we decided to do, obviously, some very different things. Like eight yes, records different. of different things, which is definitely confusing for, for people what, that, that are fans. Yeah, it's... it's and, of course, you... You see all the all the heavy opinions about that, but oh, yeah. honestly, oh, yeah. it's just been, it's, it's, it's been refreshing every album too of of, of a, you know a, a, a different take, something unique. And when you guys drop these last two singles, I'm like, God damn, it's so different. But you know, I see you know themes here and there from previous albums, and it's just been great, man. I Thank can't wait so to much for this whole. Oh, album. we gotta get Fred to get you the whole thing. Like, like hopefully he's listening in here. If he's not, we just gotta remind him. Just, just get it. It's the protected stream too, so. So we'll be watching you. What, what I need to do is I am going to set up a giveaway chat. That's, that's what I need to do. Uh, you guys probably use audio uh, of the game, but well, I set up Nightbot. I haven't done this for quite some time, so give me a second. <laughs> I'm gonna give away some some trivia merch, Matt. That's what I'm gonna do. Heck yes, heck yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. I need to get this stuff clipped. Do you, uh, so, do you mind if I do a, this? This is like a YouTube video of like you teaching me how to how to play my favorite character. In the, in, in oh combat. please! And awesome. then and then just uh, for everyone watching, I apologize if I sound like a giant. And it's a lot because it is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Matt has been a wonderful student. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a giveaway. Everyone that that types in my chat, uh, 
from now, I'm going to do it in about in a couple of minutes. And everyone that types in my chat will be entered to, to win uh, to give away a Trivium t-shirt. That's what I'm going to do. So, everyone that types once in my chat will be will be entered in uh, a couple of minutes. And I've got, I've got five shirts to give away, and then a big package that's going to include um, either a vinyl CD uh, or hoodie shirt combo as well. Shout out to the guys at Roadrunner for hooking us up on that. Those guys at Roadrunner are something else. Uh, you know, Roadrunner is the primary sponsor of the Mortal Kombat World Tour. And getting to work with them, you know... They're amazing, first, man. I love those dudes. When I first heard that, you know, that, that news that they were our sponsor, I almost cried. I was like, what the... It, it was a dream come true. Uh, also, I got to hang out with them. They, they took us... The World Championships of Fighting Games happened, happened in Vegas, and the same weekend, Gojira was doing a show in Vegas, and they took us to the Gojira show as a part of it. And so, yeah, the World Runner guys have been nothing but, but incredible, and they've got, seriously, so many of the greatest metal bands on the, on the, on the planet on their, on their label, so definitely check, check them out. I forgot our first combo, no! Oh, no! I'm gonna really big now. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll one up. I've, I've been behind. We've already been going nuts for an hour and a half, and I haven't done any giveaways. So let's see what happens here. Mr. Young Shot is a winner of a Trivium T-shirt. Mr. Young Shot, if you can, whisper me. Congratulations. Uh, for some reason, our very first one, I'm not, I'm not able to get to work. That jump kick into the back, uh, back the one, back one, four, three. All right, I'm going to watch the time. Jump kick a little bit later, and you can probably do the back one a little bit quicker. Hey, that was perfect. That was actually like two perfect timing. Congratulations, this jump shot. And I, I believe that all the merchandise we're giving away is uh, for the new record. And it's actually going to be shipped to you guys when, when the record launches. Uh, was it April 24th? April 24th. Ooh, dang, I'm not my head. That's scary. I'm ready for it. That's a good thing. I also need to tell you that I, I play Trivium a lot while I stream. I'm, I'm all about Metal and Mortal Kombat. I think it's a beautiful... Oh, like, it, it has to be, man. Wait, like, I, I, like some perfect. people were telling me that the music is a little bit different than the trailer. Man, let let the Mortal Kombat folks know if they ever need some stuff. Trivium will make specific Mortal Kombat music. We will write a Mortal Kombat thing by Trivium if they want to do Listen, that. Listen, there is I I, I should be not something I've always wanted to do, and, I, and I'm gonna do it. I wanted to like send to the Mortal Kombat developers, you know, Trivium's music, like 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 just as an instrumental in the back on a Mortal Kombat and just say, hey, this is what could be. Yeah, but let's do it. We will make anything. We'll make a thing that's specifically about Mortal Kombat by Trivium if they want to do it. My whole chat is saying that they would try if, if that ever happened right now. And I'm 100% in agreement because there have been so many times I, I have played Trivium uh, while playing Mortal Kombat and people come in and they're like, this is... Even people that are not fans of metal, Matt, and that's what really scares me. Or not, not, not that scares me, but it really impresses me is that someone goes, this goes so well with the action that's happening like, on, on the screen. It's, it's just such a beautiful blend. Uh, that's Mortal Kombat Metal. Uh, damn, you, you, you're having a lot of fun in this corner. Uh, I remember playing Ascendancy one time. I, I was playing against another pro, and the, the action was really intense, and someone came into the chat and was just like, you know, it's a really big, you know, metal's not their thing. And I, I completely respect that, love that. And they came in and said that there's something about Put this that. music and what's happening on the screen that goes so well together, and he appreciated it so much. And the moment that someone told me that, it really let me know that something special was happening. That's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, dude, I've, I've obviously been out a bit for the games, but... That nine-year-old Matt in Sub-Zero costume, like that—that that shows it. I, I had this thing yeah. in a, 
when I was that age, I started a thing called the Mortal Kombat Club. And so it was me and a bunch of kids, we draw all our favorite fatalities and we had a book, a booklet of it, but a teacher found it one day. And the teacher freaked out and called my parents. Why is had, someone holding a spine right now? Yeah, they had them, they had my parents show up for the meeting and they showed them this this book and they're like, you need to be really concerned about your son. They're like, well, that, that's his favorite game. What's the problem? <laughs> so, yeah, that was one of my earliest memories of teachers being like, uh. I tried to buy a uh, Mortal Kombat game behind my parents' neck and uh, the, uh, you know, you couldn't buy it without being 18 or older and the uh, store shut me down. And I eventually had to tell my parents, and luckily I had parents that didn't really care and allowed me to get it anyway, but yeah, it's a, it's a little, it's a little nephew, really young. And I have a really young nephew that's really into it because of what I get to do with the game, you know, professionally. And yeah, it's, if, if I were to, you know, see someone that young drawing someone's spine, you know, Sub-Zero holding a skull in his spine, I'd be like, what's going on here? My brother's actually in chat, and it's his son who does that. So shout out to my brother in the chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to execute our first one. I got to nail it, and then I might have to get to my kids. But we have to do this first one, the jump, kick, back, axe thing. That has to be done. That one, from the jump, from the whole thing. So the let's, let's see. Oh, my God. Was that the one? Was that it? Do it again? Uh, uh, hey! There's two clips. Two clips. If you really want, do the amplify side at the end for uh, more damage. Okay. Shoot. All right. Let's see if I can remember that. Oh! Um. Can you can amplify him then? Yes. You're almost gonna press the amplify button at the same time as your slide button. Ah, I see. Okay, I like see. That. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset it. There you go. Ooh. Uh, right, so back to gonna give you exactly Okay, so that's that. Mm. Right or left, I definitely could have done that, but maybe not. And on the on that one, you don't have to on the low starter, you don't have to amplify that ice ball. Just the ice ball without Oh you don't, okay. Yeah. I think it's a reflex now, is it okay that it is? It's, it's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna judge you. I saw that though. Ooh, I, I'm gonna reset you. Just say, um, just say yeah. I gotta get that really drilled. Um. Wow, backwards is so confusing. I'm gonna play back. And, and if you not only you have to memorize all this stuff in that, but you also have to um you also have to think of it in reverse for depending on what side you're on. I completely forgot to tell you that as well. <laughs> so imagine having this on the left side as easier as the right side though. Know? Well, luckily, I think we got the clip in case this with this goes south. But, yeah. but yeah, that's crazy because like Jitsu too, like a lot of stuff you could do opposite sides, like opposite side sweeps or opposite side takedowns, and like opposite side takedowns for me, like I cannot do them opposite side. There's like a lot of them. Yeah. I can only do on one side. Uh, so, and this is even close. And I hope this gives you a little bit of like uh, confidence. Is that even pros sometimes struggle doing stuff on like player two side versus player one side because they're so used to player one side. They used to be in, you know, that, that, that's what they practice on. Ooh. Mm. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm losing that time on that punch or the kick. Oh, yeah, you are. You, you had a super consistent earlier. Oh, 
Oh, I know you want it so bad. Too, I, like we all know that feeling. I mean, there, there it is, but it's just a kick. This, what's crazy about fighting games is things can go so wrong so quick. <laughs> One, one micro, one sixtieth of a second could make or break you. One sixtieth of a second. That's insanity. Hey, that's something there. Pick All right, and Matt, uh, you said you have to go to your kid. Yeah, luckily I got the clips of the two combos, so my mom's gonna give me those two, so it'll look really good. So we've got those. Right. The yeah. Last try, one shot. Okay. All, all the pressure is on World Championship on the line. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Go. No, 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 okay. I thought you were going to try to the uh, combo there. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to fight me. I knew it was going to die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a combo. I'll take it. That was a combo. For, for, for all the pressure that I spit on you, that's pretty good right there. Ah, it's, it's in two sections right now. I'm, I'm going to keep trolling that. I'm going to keep trolling that. <laughs> oh, going crazy. What? I've got nothing. I'm dead. Oh, no. Oh my god. And so like I know what to do in every little situation depending on what hits. Oh my goodness, what doesn't hit? A bus stuff. Special uh uh super me, super me. Both triggers. Hey! hey! <laughs> There's a clip too. <laughs> Put me on the execution. There's block. three clips. That one Beautiful makes it look like a lot more than the other ones. Alright, my friend, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. Download Overwatch. Download Overwatch. And we'll, we'll play some next week. We'll play Overwatch, some more of this too. And, and I will gladly meme on you with Roadhog all day long. Hell yeah, let's do it. Dude, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Please, anytime you can ever play, I was a pleasure learning from you. Let's keep jamming. Absolutely, Matt. Thank you so I'm much in. for being here. Matt's a fan. I, I speak on behalf of a lot of people from the Mortal Kombat community. Thank you for being a, a part of, you know, our tour, even, you know, you know through Roadrunner Records. Um, and guys, pre-order the album. Heck yes, Matt. thank you so much. Everybody follow Aquaman. Everybody follow him. Follow him now. All right, man. No, thank you so much, dude. Go follow Matt. All right, thank you, man. Thank Give you so much, day. man. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Stay in touch, my friend. And let's get you that record. Fred, get him the record. All right, yes, later, sir. Aquaman. Yes, sir. You have a good one. <laughs> later, dude. Thank you. Everybody. Goodness. Dude, this game is... Okay, I, I have a whole new... Whole new, whole new respect, understanding, everything for professional fighting games. Holy shite, man.